boys and girls, nerdlings of all ages, welcome back to the beautiful, lush shores of Erangel. As we get ready to hop in. Oh, where's the plane? Where is it? Where is it? There it is! As we get ready to hop into game number two of tonight's PUBG EU Pro Scrims. My name is Jorisar. The date is the 4th of August. It is indeed a Tuesday. And this will be one of the final times we get to see these teams in their scrims before PCS 2 begins. We've got a plane path that's skewed to the east today. Uh, a little bit of a 1 o'clock to 7 o'clock plane path. Just off center, a little more east than normal. But most teams should be able to get where they need to go. Your Gatkas, your Primorsks, and your Georgia Pulls of the world are a little bit, well, inaccessible. But almost everything else should be fine. Divan and Entz are in for a potentially tough time here. It looks like Illidan is just going to grab a vehicle rather than stick around and get hit by Diggory, which is fair enough. The rest of Entz appear to be going towards the Pofka, so that actually looks okay for now. And Windstreak 15 are going to be nearby. They're probably going to end up in Prison 2. The entirety of the Adepts are going to be moving, I think, by car to Georgia Pole. They should be relatively safe. The circle has popped. It is central and up to the north. Things look okay. Oh my god! I say things look okay. That was insane. They're going to have to make a decision as to whether they continue or not. Tundo has been knocked clean out of the vehicle. Remember, they haven't been looted yet, so there are no vests, no helmets involved. And it looks like Tundo is being sacrificed to the PUBG gods. And Tropic will be able to get the first confirmed kill of this game. No one else really in the area, and I don't think Redline is going to be spotting him. So that's Noick with the first point of the game. Very nicely done there. Opportunistic? Yes. But... You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's what anyone will tell you. Or, in my case, you miss 99% of the shots you do take. But that's a different discussion for a different time on stream. So, Tiksu and Rustinmar in Lepovka. Diggory and Squeaky further up north. Divan have taken some of their vehicles and they've got Mansion as well. They're going to be reasonably looted up. FaZe Clan have got Sosnovka Island to themselves, but we'll have to worry about rotating out. And uh, I think Noick's just found the... Okay, he has found the reload button, right? That was uh, an amusing sound. School and apartments taken by TSM. Relatively chilled out there. Iroh uh, died early on. I'm afraid we missed that on screen. Sorry about that, guys. So that's Iroh out early for the second game in a row. Oh, that's so frustrating for him as well. He had such a commanding performance. Um, the last time we saw the pro scrims and I was casting last week. Really, really some sick plays for Myro. So I hope that we get to see some more of those plays and more of what he's capable of a little bit later on today. Omakin, one of the teams that were first out of game number one, remember, are scouting early this time around. They're not wanting to mess around. They see a buggy parked outside this compound thinking, hang on a second, what's going on here? Melman has taken out Quizzy. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. It's fine. Anyway, Paige. Wondering if someone is still in this compound. Selecting the reticle on the red dot. Obviously important. Obviously important. But I think he's going to conclude that whoever parked here may no longer be here. I think he's going to wait for the rest of the team before he moves in, just in case someone is, like, parking themselves around a corner in a bathroom or something like that. Always a possibility. So he just wants to play it safe and to make sure that he has someone on his team to back him up before moving in there. And that someone is going to be none other than Jemti. Very, very strong fragger. So much PUBG experience. It's actually not going to be needed here because there are no enemies here, but very nice to be able to at least say, okay... Let's just make sure that no one is in here. And uh, Paige will confirm that everything is fine. Blaze, meanwhile, are rotating under the watchful eye of Illidan.
but nobody else will come into contact. I can't say the same for Artur, though. You cannot say the same for Artur. You are flying very close to the sun there, guys. And Artur instantly gets destroyed. One of the people who was actually one of the final circles in the last game will get taken out early this time around, and Gold B has decided just to keep moving, and I don't blame them at all. No one really far north, no one really far south, except for Na'Vi and FaZe, who are going to be playing it late. Digital Athletics. Now in the compound, effectively next door to M-Force. Two fan favorites, DA and M-Force, I know, because there are a lot of people spamming them in chat. A lot of people. DA and M-Force are currently neighbors, okay? Now, DA have actually got the high ground, but Sixmo is a single player. Getting shot up by multiple angles, and it's not actually M-Force he needs to worry about. It's in Tropic. Double get Sixmo. Wasn't anticipating someone so close. And then Tropic, to be fair, is kind of scouting. The rest of, uh... The rest of the guys are further back. Off stream getting shot at from two different angles here. Gets a knock onto Divan, but it's actually, I think it's, uh... Was Blaze also taking them out? I think it might have been. Winstreak 15 have lost Kemba, sadly. They've got two kills. And they're potentially looking for a bit more. Vashku nearby to them, but he's actually looking more south, not being too worried at the moment. And those shots you can hear are Balin. Taking a few shots onto Miraku. And TSM, remember, down to a three-man squad early in the game. They're going to be wary of where everyone is. They are in circle. There's no absolute pressing need for them to move. Interestingly, Miraku on that scar, uh, it's a hollow rather than a red dot. I know most people prefer red dots. But uh, he's definitely walked past a red dot and he's keeping the hollow on the scar there. The Wanderer gets a clean long-range snipe onto Vashku, who should be relatively safe for now. The situation with Digital Athletics, M4C Shark, and Entropic appears to have stabilized a little bit. No one really looking to move out in this area. Double just sort of keeping watch on the southern side of this compound. Well, compound hillside. And M4C Shark just kind of probing, wanting to see how much space they've actually got. Winstreet 15 do take Divan out of the game. So that's an early exit for them this time around. We're actually only at the 8 minute mark at the moment. Very early indeed. Team Liquid with a 2-2 split. They've got 2 in cube. And 2 more up here just south of shooting range. Clib holding a... I, I quite enjoy this garage compound personally. It's got some decent views outside. Good little bit of real estate. And here's the next circle. It's swinging back south. I'm expecting quick rotations from all of Team Liquid. Uh, from everyone up here. Everyone is going to be crowding for these compounds right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, absolutely... Everyone's racing for it. Everyone's going to be moving. Okay, he makes it. Nice one. Well done, James. Ooh, even managing to park it inside. Brilliant stuff from him there. All right. TSM, apartments. That's going to be very, very useful for them. Absolutely delightful stuff. They don't need to move a muscle. Dogs is going to hurt. This is going to hurt a lot. 
he's gonna have to drive through. Wait, I thought he just drove through four different people. I guess Digital Athletics and Ents are too busy in their little scrap to deal with the third party vehicle that's moving around. Squeaky spots and takes down Mert. Rustin Ma has been rezzed on the top of the hill as well. This means that it's going to be a very tall order for Mert to get back to safety. That's Mert out of the game. Whoop. Rustin Ma getting slightly too acquainted with the tree there. Let's see where everyone is rotating. People are looking like they've settled in. Team Liquid have got west of Pachinki. Red Line are going to go further south. Everyone except Fuzzface from FaZe Clan have taken Potato Hill. And Omakin are coming in on the east side. Potentially could get this drop as well. I think Balin has spotted uh, Northern Lights and are thinking about gatekeeping a bit, but they're actually quite far from the rest of the team. So uh, rejoining the team, I think, at this point is the correct call. Ents are the only team staying north. They are happy to rotate late. They said, look, we were in that fight. We know we uh, aren't going to be able to get the compounds as quick as the other teams. That's fine. Let's just accept we are where we are and play from there and not have an incredibly risky late rotation. I can respect that. I can absolutely respect that. So that's everyone more or less... Oh, hello, Squeaky. That's everyone more or less rotated now. Northern Lights are in a massive amount of trouble. And Gemti is going to be crawling up behind them. This could be delicious for Omicron Sports. Oh, this will be delicious. Sneaking up behind Spyro. Northern Lights have no idea that somebody else is here. Snake in the grass. Gemsy's gonna have to move a little faster. Ballin has actually been knocked and rezzed. Surprise! And that is Spyro out of the game. Oh, Deep has been spotted. Gemty will be able to get Spyro in time. What is Deep going to do, though? That's the question. Perfect. Actually going out into blue to rotate now. And Gemty getting shot at from elsewhere. Oh, no. Never mind. Perfect. Going out of the blue to try and take out Gemty. Season by the rock. What a nade! Snipes the headshot, frag grenade to follow, and my god, perfect, showing him how it's done. Vasku also getting knocked elsewhere, forcing Paige back. Paige now very much in a defensive position. That's a great grenade! That's a great grenade! That's deep down, perfect left, and Paige has got time to first aid because perfect can't actually get here in time. Is he gonna crash? Is he gonna be forced to? Going for the drive-by. It won't work. Perfect down as well. Oh. Casual bit of reload. Oh, no. Here's Batulins. Here's Batulins. He has to focus on Batulins. Left side. Left side. Not the right. Not the right. And they run into each other. They both go down. Oh, that's that's poetic. That's Romeo and Juliet stuff right there. Omicron will continue to survive and play the rest of this game. But sadly, Gempty is down and out. And Paige is resible, I think. We'll be able to crawl into zone. Oh, actually, not even going to bother. Just going to let it tick away now before the damage gets too great. So cool, Omicron are going to be playing edge, but otherwise that is good for them. M-Force E-Shark trying to move in between school and apartments. Oh, I'm not sure how much this is going to be... Uh how much is really going to be good for them? Because they've got TSM on the right-hand side shooting them from apartments. They've got Unity tackling them from school. I think M4 Z Shark just need to stay where they are. This can't be a good. This can't be a good spot for them. AC spotting members of Red Line only managing to get one, but it's Michael. That's a big, big name. Team Liquid have moved to the east side of Pachinki, and Uber has been spotted by Jeems. Disgusting headshot from range. Absolutely disgusting. Although Mexi actually getting traded out there. Fuzz face! Fuzz face! Getting both of those. 
absolutely nailing it. And I think he's going to come closer to get another angle as well. Clib has returned to try and get the res off and fuzz face. He's just taking the tires out now. He knows he hasn't got the, uh, he hasn't got the finish onto Team Liquid. Team Liquid are holding on by their fingernails to this position. The Adepts are also crashing Unity. Oh, there's so much going on. The Adepts eliminated in Swimming Pool. Let's go back to Team Liquid versus FaZe Clan. Liquid have to move within the next 30 seconds. Their cars have had the tires popped. There's really not much else they can do here. Omikin and Redline over on the south side. In a fight to the death as well. It's Page versus QB. Evas is technically down and not out. And QB deciding to go for the res instead. Team Liquid have no choice but to drive the wheelless cars to try and get away and get a stronger position in circle. The problem is they're going to be running into either Navi or FaZe. They have to pick one. That's not a choice they want to have to make right now. Blaze takes out Digital Athletics. That's in circle as well. So Smash was really just holding out in that compound in the middle. And hang on a second. That is Ent versus TSM. We have to watch this. Crashing into apartments now as well. Beckoning Rustin Ma into the apartment so that they can go ahead and res. Fairly not quite. Won't be able to make those grenades work. Will Fex. Points for effort, though. Vard and Miracu really close by. Wow, third time's the charm. I really didn't think those would work. But a second knock onto Rustin Ma. So I guess getting the angle just right does pay off. We've now got Team Liquid versus FaZe Clan in full flow. Ibi gets Gustav. Gets the finish as well. Aitzi still on the flank and Uber. Shots off. No hits at the moment on AT. Information for FaZe. Mexi goes down for Team Liquid. It's Ibi and Jeems versus AT and Uber at the moment. Clib is getting res though. He's getting res very close to where Uber is. Ibi taking three damage per second out in the blue right now. Really banking on a potential sick flank here on AT. The question remains, has anyone actually heard him? He should get visibility now. Got him. That's AT down. What about Uber? All eyes on Uber. Titanic battle between Team Liquid and FaZe Clan. Jeems and Clib spot him. And Jeems will get the barrel spray. FaZe Clan eliminated in 12th place. Team Liquid survived with three members. TSM sharing the apartment complex with Ents. Feeling very uncomfortable with where this is going right now. Not ideal at all. Red line looking to do a little bit of damage towards Tornado Energy, but taking some frags in return, and Evas hasn't got a vest. This isn't straightforward at all. Page dies to the blue zone rather than uh, engaging here and effectively donating a point to one of these two teams, which is fair enough. QB gets taken down from range, and that's actually Melman with a very, very impressive flank. Evas now going for it, trying to secure one more point. He's prioritizing the frag grenade. Will that frag get him the confirmed kill? It... Uh, oh! Well, red line eliminated. And uh, technically Alia killed Quizzy, but I think red line are going to get the point for that. Be interesting to see. Fex actually moving out of apartments now as the next circle rotates out. We've got an eastern shift towards where Blaze are. Uh, 
And this is going to be highly, highly entertaining. For the boys in the East. Blaze Esports, winners of game number one. They've got an excellent position in the next game as well. Tornado Energy is going to stand in their way. But Blaze arguably have a better position if they stay in the compound. Na'Vi eliminated. That was a big, big fight between them and M-Force. They have to revive very quickly here. The circle's moving in on them. I'm not sure they can. Can they? Rafa has to run. He can't actually get into the vehicle. He's got to run. I'm not sure about this. Okay, just. Only just. Oh my goodness. Team Liquid now taken out by Tornado Energy. Remember, Team Liquid was sort of in the open here. And that is uh, Clib out, unfortunately, in game number two. That's Team Liquid out in eighth place in the Tornado Energy. Now forced to push into the spot that M-Force E-Shark have actually taken up. They're two kills at the moment with three people left alive. Senex is the only player that's gone down for them right now. And TSM. Gatekeeping ends. And who earlier went to great lengths to crash apartments where TSM were. Now go out. Win streak 15 and the Wanderer are actually going to finish them off. But TSM have many, many other problems ahead of them. They've got win streak 15, they've got Unity, and they've got Blaze all firing down on their position, not to mention Tornado Energy if they get much closer as well. TSM are in an awful position right now in terms of getting to the next circle. They have already got eight kills to their name, though. That is a good amount of points in the bag. Grenade goes down, but that's no good if you're downed yourself. 30 seconds left in Miracu. Well, he's need one himself, to be perfectly honest, if he wants to continue to survive here. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to, and Fex will be the sole flag carrier for TSM. M-Force E-Sharks are the ones that effectively get a free rotate off of this. This is going to be interesting. They're on the road trying to decide where they go. Unity are not giving them the luxury of time. Fex gets Sinister. Steals a kill, but that's something. That's another point for TSM. That buggy's on fire. There's no real way he's going to be able to uh, get back in that. So, I mean, it's something. TSM up to nine kills. And sneaking their way in. Honestly, though, I'm looking at Blaze because I think for the second game in a row, they have the strongest compound. It's not as strong as the previous game. But they have the option to stay inside the broken wall and push out only when they decide it's good. I think Blaze Esports have been uh, tremendous in deciding when that point is. Rafa instead of moving away from the compound, is going to move towards them, maybe to try and get an extra surprise point. Although if I were rough, I would wait until I'm top three before doing that, because the placement points are useful. The Wanderer takes out Fex. The Wanderer also a solo, but has got a compound to himself. That's TSM in fifth place. We've got Unity, M-Force, Blaze, and Windstrike 15 left in this game. Unit... Pretty much everyone can stay as they are, so we'll have to wait for the next circle to really see some big action here, I think. Ooh, pardon me, that noise was the coaster underneath my drink falling underneath it. I'll get a napkin for it next game so that doesn't happen again. Mm. I basically am drinking a liter of water an hour at the moment, so uh, bear with me. My voice will hold out, but uh, possibly only just. <laughs> we'll wait and see. I hope you guys are all... Enjoying the stream this evening as Blaze Esports picks up another kill onto Rafa and M Force are out of game number two. You're watching the PUBG EU Pro Scrims. My name is Jorasar. This is one of the last opportunities that the teams are going to have to demonstrate their skills ahead of PCS2 starting this Friday. And I'm thrilled to be able to present all six of tonight's scrim games to you. So far, Blaze Esports absolutely destroying. Look at this. Next circle, hard shift towards them. Do they stay in the compound? No, they get out into the middle of the circle and absolutely gatekeep. This is exactly what they did on Miramar. This is part of the playbook that we saw in game number one. That won them game number one. We could be seeing back-to-back -back victories here. I will not count chickens for Blaze Esports. In PUBG, it's a terrible idea, ever, 
to count chickens, but they have put themselves in a very, very good position. And I think anyone watching will agree with me right now. It's win streak 15 as the Wanderer. Unity as Hyruzen and Set versus all four members of Blaze. That is what this game is at right now. Win streak 15 gets spotted by Laza, takes the kill count to seven. Laza, six individual kills. Can we talk about that? And Hyruzen spent a little bit too long. A little bit too long lining up that shot. Lipson actually gets the headshot in, but I'm a little surprised that it wasn't a knock. Flashbang, that's, that's a little far for flashbang, isn't it? No, I beg to differ. That hit, that hit. Very nicely done. Lipson moving in on Hyruzen now. Using Hyruzen's own smoke against him, forcing Unity to know that Blaze Esports are actually there from a multitude of angles. He has to be careful of Set though. I think Set might be able to see him from the right-hand side of the smoke. There's Hyruzen, really good hit on the initial spray. Uh, the second one as well up to set. Lipson runs out of bullets, needs to go for the SLR. Shoots into the smoke, won't quite make it set. Down to four HP, but he goes down as well. It's actually a self kill with a Molotov to prevent the extra point, but Blaze Esports are gonna fire their way into a second chicken dinner anyway. Very well played for them. Eight kills this time around, but maximum placement points going to Blaze with Unity in second place and win streak 15 coming third.